Hello everybody, this is Patrick McGowan and this is my final project, the WebQuest project. And my driving question was, how have numbers changed throughout history? How have numbers evolved throughout history? And how does this evolution of numbers reflect on the evolution of mathematics itself? Now, this is my introduction page. I have a lot of nice pictures. I have a nice little hook. I have the driving question on there. The introduction page should hook the students into this project. Next is my task page, which has a brief summary of what the students will go through in this project. And it has the four roles of each group that the students will be in. For example, the four roles are the researcher, the organizer, the deep thinker, and the technician. Next is my process page, which is pretty steep. It's 14 steps. And to sum it all up, um, the the researcher will start off on step one, and they will pick five of the ten sources I've posted, and those five sources will be the sources used for for the rest of the project for the group. Step two, the technician creates a blog in the link posted, which is just a link to WordPress, and there are uh, other steps throughout the fourteen which the technician will keep posting about the progress of the group. We go back to the researcher in step three, and the researcher must summarize each of the five sources they have chosen, and then give his summaries to the organizer and to the deep thinker. Now in step four, the researcher finishes his responsibilities by correctly making the works cited page. Now in step 6 and 7, the organizer and the deep thinker will read the summaries given from the researcher. Step 8, the organizer will uh, create his two-thirds of the essay. And the, the organizer is making two-thirds of this essay because these two-thirds of the essay are about how the numbers have evolved throughout history. And I want this to be more of the focus on the essay instead of the reflection. However, the deep thinker does make the reflection about a third of the final essay. So that's still a lot to write about, which I felt was pretty fair. The deep thinker makes these connections in step 10. And step 12, the organizer and the deep thinker will use the grammar link posted in the materials page, which will check all the grammar and pretty much finalize the essay. Now step 13 and 14 is all about the technician and the technician will make a Google Plus account and then upload the finished works cited page and the finished essay into the class file in the Google, in the Google Plus drive. Next we have the materials page for me which is just helpful links for each one of the roles and 10 links for which the researcher has to choose from to start the project. Next I have a roles page which just uh, briefly go or more thoroughly sorry goes through each uh, each role in the group. Uh, there's the researcher, the organizer, the deep thinker, and the technician. Next I have my evaluation page which contains my rubric which is pretty simple. There's only seven rows to, to grade from but it's very equal because it's about uh, two rows for each role. Next is my conclusion page which has a brief summary of what the project was all about and it includes a, a list of learning outcomes. Next I have my teacher page which contains my reflection, my estimated time, my state standards, my expected grade levels for this project, and my per own personal email address. Finally, I have a tech integration page, which just goes through uh, only a few examples of the technology used in this project. I want to go back to my reflection, and I just wanted to say that in this reflection, I talked about the two main challenges for this project and those two challenges were trying to pick out of the many technologies we learned in this class what to put in this project and I finally decided on Google Plus, Google Documents and blogging.
The other challenge was trying to make mathematics interesting enough for students to want to go into this project and I thought the history and the evolution of numbers is very interesting so I decided to go with that idea and I really hope the students like it. Thanks for watching.